Portugal defender Jose Font labeled the use of unacceptable after Iran were controversially awarded a late penalty in the final Group B in Saransk, which was converted to deny Portugal top spot in a 1-1 draw. Deep in stoppage time in the Mordovia arena, Portugal looked set to seal top spot in the group at Spain's expense, with their rivals trailing to Morocco in Kaliningrad, but as Iago Aspas scored a late, VAR assisted penalty to earn Spain a point, Iran won one of their own, to then deny Portugal two points, and demote them to a second placed finish in a dramatic finale. Southampton fullback Cedric had to be pulled away from Paraguayan referee Enrique Cáceres at the final whistle, following Cáceres' decision to award the late penalty after consulting VAR. The new Wolves stopper stood up to the physical challenge that Iran offered, and had little to do until facing their injury time penalty. Back in the side for his first start at this World Cup. It took him a while to get up to speed. Nevertheless, he still complements his old sporting midfield partner William very well. Impressed early on with some neat flicks, but was less influential once Riz Ayin got the measure of him. Able to offer charisma support such was the lack of Iran threat down his flank. Astonished as much as everyone else when he was penalized for a late handball, the usual Pepe performance of combined histrionics and first-class defending. Struggled to get the better of Asmaun, and was twice flattened for his troubles. Another defender given a tough evening, this time by Jahan Bej. A failure to deal with the Iranian's pace led to a booking started his first World Cup game at the age of 34 and delivered a goal worthy of the stage. Some less impressive antics in the second half marred an otherwise excellent performance. The heartbeat of this poor Chigal team. Tidy when in possession, and equally adept at winning it back. Back in the side for his first start at this World Cup. It took him a while to get up to speed. Nevertheless, he still complements his old sporting midfield partner William very well. After four goals in the opening two games, this was a frustrating night for the captain. He struggled to make chances, missed a penalty and was given a harsh yellow card following a VAR review. Looked a liability early on as he made a habit of spilling crosses, only to save a Ronaldo penalty in the second half. Had no chance with Quaresma's wonder goal. Recovered from a tough opening where Joao Mario and Ronaldo doubled up on the left to put in a solid defensive performance. Showed he had the acceleration to keep pace with Ronaldo when the forward threatened to get in behind the Iran defense. A few lapses of concentration apart, the center half performed well in his battle with Portugal's impressive attack. Lacked composure and discipline in defense, particularly after the award of Portugal's penalty and was replaced shortly afterwards. Blew his country's big moment to qualify for the knockout stages but blasting his only chance into the side netting. Ran's most threatening player, he made a number of runs down the right that troubled the Portugal defence. Subbed with 20 minutes to play. Battled well in midfield as his side spent a lot of the game chasing possession. Struggled to get a foothold in the game as he chased the shadows of Adrian and William. Found himself dropping deep to help out his defense in dealing with Quaresma. 
impressed in the first half as Iran's lone striker, bringing teammates into play with an array of neat touches. The new Wolves stopper stood up to the physical challenge that Iran offered, and had little to do until facing their injury time penalty. Back in the side for his first start at this World Cup, it took him a while to get up to speed. Nevertheless, he still complements his old sporting midfield partner William very well. Impressed early on with some neat flicks, but was less influential once Riz Ian got the measure of him. Able to offer Quaresma support such was the lack of Iran threat down his flank. Astonished as much as everyone else when he was penalized for a late handball. The usual Pepe performance of combined histrionics and first-class defending. Struggled to get the better of Vazmaun, and was twice flattened for his troubles. Another defender given a tough evening, this time by Jahan Bej. A failure to deal with the Iranian's pace led to a booking. Started his first World Cup game at the age of 34 and delivered a goal worthy of the stage. Some less impressive antics in the second half marred an otherwise excellent performance. The heartbeat of this Portugal team, tidy when in possession, and equally adept at winning it back. Back in the side for his first start at this World Cup, it took him a while to get up to speed. Nevertheless, he still complements his old sporting midfield partner William very well. After four goals in the opening two games, this was a frustrating night for the captain. He struggled to make chances, missed a penalty and was given a harsh yellow card following a VAR review. Looked a liability early on as he made a habit of spilling crosses, only to save a Ronaldo penalty in the second half. No chance with Quaresma's wonder goal. Recovered from a tough opening where Joao Mario and Ronaldo doubled up on the left to put in a solid defensive performance. Showed he had the acceleration to keep pace with Ronaldo when the forward threatened to get in behind the Iran defense. A few lapses of concentration apart, the center half performed well in his battle with Portugal's impressive attack. Lacked composure and discipline in defense, particularly after the award of Portugal's penalty and was replaced shortly afterwards. Blew his country's big moment to qualify for the knockout stages but blasting his only chance into the side netting. Ran's most threatening player, he made a number of runs down the right that troubled the Portugal defence. Subbed with 20 minutes to play, battled well in midfield as his side spent a lot of the game chasing possession. Struggled to get a foothold in the game as he chased the shadows of Adrian and William. Found himself dropping deep to help out his defense in dealing with Quaresma. Impressed in the first half as Iran's lone striker, bringing teammates into play with an array of neat touches. It was a busy night for the controversial system designed to help the on-pitch officials, with Cristiano Ronaldo escaping a red card despite having his clash with Morteza Pora Leganji reviewed, having previously won a penalty for a soft-looking foul earlier in the second half. This World Cup is just crazy. Font said. We are not happy with the situation, the constant stopping the game, the controversy all the time. We had an opportunity to make it 2-0, close the game out and we did not manage to score. Ronaldo scores for us so many times, so it is no problem. He is allowed an off day. 
he will get one in the next game. Jose Font was unimpressed with VAR, Reuters, to end the game like that is just not fair. This VAR system is not my thing. Cedric is furious. In our opinion, he is not even looking at the ball. It is impossible to not have your arms raised in that position. How can you jump with both arms next to your body? It is impossible. The ball did not even change trajectory. In the end, we could have almost lost the game, VAR is unacceptable. The result means that Portugal now take on Uruguay in the last 16, with Spain getting hosts Russia, who were soundly beaten by the Uruguayans in Samara early or on Monday. Font, though, does not believe the draw disadvantages Portugal in any way. Taremi nearly causes huge World Cup upset as Iran make Portugal sweat in the end, we managed to qualify, which is always the main objective, and after that we will see what comes, Font added. We have to face whoever we face. When you have to face Russia, at home, with their crowd, it will be very difficult. They are a strong team, so whoever we comes we will face them. We are happy, how many teams have gone home. We are through and that is the main thing. We are not happy with how it went down in the last few minutes, but we were controlling the game, playing the ball out from the back, being patient, creating chances. In the end, we got done by a dubious decision and we have to move on. Sometimes you just don't get the rub of the green. Follow the independent sport on Instagram here, for all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world.